Serena, what what are the emotions? Obviously, a difficult night for you. I wonder if you could just talk about how you're feeling. Um, I don't know how I'm feeling. I haven't had time to really process everything, but. Um, I'm just trying, like I said out there, to stay positive and, you know, look at all the bright things and all the good things and, uh, and just keep going forward. Serena, how did motherhood influence how you comforted Naomi today? Um, I don't know. I felt, at one point, I felt bad because I'm crying and she's crying and, you know, she just won and she, they, I'm not sure if they were happy to you or they were just bad shoes because of the moment and you know I felt like wow this isn't how I felt when I won my first grand slam so um I was like well I definitely don't want her to feel like that so um yeah maybe it was the mom and me that was like listen we we gotta pull ourselves together <laughs> um, you were very graceful at the end with a lot mentioned all what happened before but the bad thing we were talking about say uh, that he gave you some sort of advice uh, when uh, you got the warning for coach. Mm -hmm. So did you understand that? Uh, you didn't realize what, mm -hmm. what went through? So I don't know. I, I, I literally just heard that too. <laughs> with the, 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 the prep to come in. Yeah. And I just texted Patrick, like, what is he talking about? Because we don't have signals. We've never discussed signals. I don't even call for on-court coaching. So I'm trying to figure out why he would say that. I don't understand. I mean, maybe he said you can do it, but I was on the far other end, so I'm not sure. I want to clarify myself what, what he's talking about. So the Empire had to give you the coach. Excuse me? The Empire had to give you the No, because I, no, I wasn't being coached. Okay. If I look at my box and they say, come <laughs> on, or the job, and, and I, don't know, I don't know what else to do. At that point, after that, I didn't even look at my box. <laughs> You know, we, we all, I know you talked about as a mother these teachable moments. When Alexis is old enough, how will you explain to her what happened out there to me? Um, honestly, I don't think, I don't know if she'll bring it up. history with Carlos Ramos in the chair before? No, not at all. He's always been a great umpire. Um, Serena, you mentioned uh, how at this tournament something always comes up, seems to come up. When that was happening out there, were you flashing back to 2009? Was it just kind of bringing up more things and just piling on? <coughs> um, I think, yeah, I think that's hard for me. You know, I, and I think it's just, um, Instantly, I just like, oh gosh, you know, I don't want to go back to 2004. Forget 2009, you know. We started way back then, so it's always, you know, something. But that's also kind of like this game that we have to play with because it's, you know, sometimes it might seem one, it might seem like things always happen, but I don't know the word I'm looking for. But um, you just kind of have to try to realize that it's coincidence. And so, you know, under the, the rules, <coughs> all three violations issued by, by Carlos were correct. So why do you believe that he's a thief? Because he's, he took a point from me, and after and he alleged that I was cheating and I wasn't cheating, and then I had a good conversation with him, and I said, listen, you know my character, you know me really well, like you know that. I don't even call home for a coach. I don't even do that. And he's like, you know what? I, I understand. He's like, you're, you were, I don't know if he said you're right, but he understood. He's like, yeah, I get what you're saying. And then when I sat down, I said it again. I was like, just to be clear, I can understand what you saw because it may have looked, just because I look at my box, it may have looked like I was getting coaching, but I'm telling you, that's not what I do. And I said, I'd rather lose than 
have to cheat to win. I don't need to cheat to win. I've won enough, and I've never, that's never been something I've ever done, you know? So, and he was cool. He was like, oh, I get it, and, and we had this, this great exchange, and we were on the same page, and we understood each other, and, and I felt like that was, Do you think the chair umpire played any part in the outcome of tonight's match? I think that's a really good question. Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't. I feel like she was playing really well, but I feel like um, I really need to do a lot to change in that match to try to come out front and to try to come out on top. Um, and it's hard to say because I always fight to the end and I always try to come back no matter what. But she was also playing really, really well. So um, it's hard to, to say that I wouldn't have gotten a new level because I've done it so many times in my um, career. So. What do you think the policy should be on coaching during a match? I don't use it. I don't use on-court coaching. I understand they're using it in... Um, in qualifying here, they tried it out in qualifying here. Um, would I use it? I, I don't know. I, I like one thing I love about tennis is being out there, and it's the one time I don't want to hear anyone tell me anything, and you have to figure out, you have to problem solve. And honestly, I feel like it's helped me a lot in my life. You know, a lot of things that I go through in my life personally, and also in business, you have to be able to problem solve. And one thing about tennis, I feel like sometimes. <coughs> When I'm out there, I have a split second, nanosecond to make a decision that could change the whole <coughs> match and the whole tournament. Um, and I really applied that into a lot of things into my life. And that's my moment of, I know it sounds weird, but it's like my moment of peace when I'm out on the court where I don't hear anyone and I don't need it and I just try to problem solve myself. <coughs> so I don't know if I would use it, if it was brought out in the future. I currently don't use it, so I don't know. Two ladies, one What do you think uh, Osaka did well to, to, to get this win over you? Was there something in a game that maybe you weren't expecting? Or? Well, I feel like she she was really, really consistent. She really, I think her game is always super consistent. I feel like she played really well. Like I said, she, uh, she made a lot of shots and uh, she was so focused, and I think, you know, and right never had a break point, she had came up with some great serve. And honestly, there's a lot I can learn from her from this match, and I hope to, I hope to learn a lot from that. Obviously, it's her first Grand Slam title. Do you think it's a shame, kind of, that all this happened, the drama happened around her with all the booing and everything from the crowd? You know, it's, it's a very difficult thing, isn't it, for her to go through as well in that situation? That's what I said. I, that's why I was like, I don't want to answer the questions. This is her moment, and like, Stop booing because <laughs> she doesn't deserve that. I don't deserve it. The people on the on the tennis court didn't deserve it. They were all here to see tennis, and she played an amazing match, and she deserves the credit, and she deserved to win. And at the end of the day, that's what it was. We can never really go back, Serena. But if you could change one thing about what occurred, uh, what would that be? Um. No, you definitely can't go back in time, but I can't sit here and say I wouldn't say he's a thief because I thought he took the game from me, but I've seen other men call other umpires several things, and I'm here fighting for women's rights and for women's equality and for all kinds of stuff, and for me to say thief and for him to take a game, it made me feel like it was a sexist remark. I mean, like, how uh, he's never took a game from a man because they said he. <coughs> for me, it blows my mind. But I'm going to continue to to fight for women and to fight for us to have equal, like, coordination to be able to take our shirt off without getting a fine. Like, this is outrageous, you know? And I just feel like the fact that I have to go through this is just an example for the next person that has emotions and that want to express themselves and they want to be a strong woman and they're going to be allowed to do that because of today. Maybe it didn't work out for me, but it's going to work out for the next person. Oh, Thank you, everyone. Oh, <laughs>